In this video, we're going to focus on how we can extract the tick values, or at least the very last tick value here, which is you can see here in the console log, it's number 12. And we want to grab these here. We're going to show you how we can grab all the x-axis tick values and of course all the y-axis tick values as well. So let's start to explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' question, which is how to get scales tick values in Chart.js. And this question came from one of my other videos about how to add data labels on top of a bar chart in Chart.js. And if we scroll down here, you can see eventually this question came from Karthik Sadanan. So a special thank you to Karthik for asking the question. And this is what Karthik asked. Hi, thank you so much for all of these tutorials. I'm using a horizontal bar chart. Is there a way to get a tick interval or the value of the maximum tick set by the chart? I'm not trying to set it i'm actually trying to get the values all right so this is very important so let's start to work on this so first of all what we need is to get our default code which you can find on charges 3com getting started and if we scroll down here we get here a nice chunk of code so i'm going to copy this all and if you want to understand what this code does make sure you watch this specific video that explains the javascript of it so i want to paste this in here once i paste that in here i'm going to cut out this and put that in here there we are, save this, refresh, and there we have now our bar chart. But of course, the question was specifically for a horizontal bar chart, so I'm going to convert this into a horizontal bar chart. Although the methodology will be equal for horizontal and vertical bar chart or for line chart for any chart with an X or an Y, or sorry, the X axis and a Y axis. So what I'm going to do here is Let's go down here, we're going to do in the option, we're going to say index axis, and the index axis here will be set on Y, comma, save, refresh. Once we did that, you can see we swap from X axis to the Y axis, and these two have been swapped as well. So now we have here these values here. So how do we grab this? Because basically the most important thing here is how to get all these values to figure out how many ticks we have. Well, luckily we can do it very easy in Chart.js because we can go into the default settings. To do this, we need to, of course, pinpoint the canvas with the same ID that we want to measure. So we're going to say here, first of all, console log, because I want to show this in the console log. And I'm going to say here, my chart. We grab this one. And then in here, we can say dot. And we say here, just scales, because this is basically a default setting with default data that you can grab. Scales. And then we can indicate here which scale we would like to pinpoint the Y scale or the X scale. In this case, the X scale has all the numbers. So it would make sense to grab only this one to analyze because these here will be based on the index numbers anyway. So let's go on here and we say here the X scale. And then if I do this and save this, refresh it, open up developer tab, you will see here we are getting a lot of information here, but probably so much that we don't even care about this and we don't need all of this information. But what we do need is the following here the ticks we grab all of these and we can just grab these items specifically so we can get the values so we can get the length we can get everything what we want so i'm going to say a dot ticks save refresh and now we get the items here so if you would like to know all these specific items basically you need to do this for example we want to grab here the specific value how we get the value? Well, we can say here value and zero and then dot value because basically this is an index number here. You also can get the label, but the label and the value are identical. And the context here value, well, doesn't matter so much. This has no real meaning or no, no real value for us. Although you can see here index zero, that's the only thing here. So what I'm going to do here is for example, ticks, I will say you tick zero and then I say, you, well, if I do only tick zero, save refresh you can see here now we get only this only the very first value here so if i want to grab even the specific value we save that tick zero dot value you can see here we get zero so what we can do as well of course is here if you want to grab here the full items what we need to do is here we say here dot length if we do dot length you will get a value of 10 there we are and of course index start always at zero up to nine but there's 10 items in this index or 10 elements in this index here. So we could even do here a, uh, let's create a, we can do a, a for loop 
four, and then we say i uh, let i equals zero, and then we want to say here keep on iterating or looping i. Loop i as long as it's smaller than this length here. And then what we will do here is i plus plus, and then we can even loop through this. We can grab all of these values here. Now what I will do is grab the value here. And I'll just put in here i, and if we do this, most likely we it will eventually show something here, or we can say here just a console dot log just for the sake of it, and of course how we extract the final value as well. I will show you as well. Save that. If we do this refresh, we get all of these values which is matching here. We can confirm this by putting here a more higher value. Let's say here number thirty. Save that. Refresh, and then you can see here it changes here to a different item. And we can also, of course, grab the length out of this. So we can say here, console this, and for the sake of it, just get the length, dot length, save, there we are. I mean, to get the last value or the last item, which is number 30, of course, you can do the length minus one. And then here, we can grab here the specific tick value. So we can say this. Or we could do here maybe like that. Let's say here constant last value equals my chart. I'll be that. Grab this, put it in here, and we save that and refresh, and there you are. Well let's if I hide this, you will see this will work nicely. There we are. The last value we extracted as well, number 30. And if I change this, you will see as well this will be back. Let's put it back on. Or put on 9, save that, refresh, the last value will be number 12. And that's basically how you can play around with it. If you would like to grab the other item on the y axis, on the x axis, oh, sorry, the y axis here just changes to y, save that. And you can see here, oh, the y is, of course, not being shown if I do this and save that. You get here number 6, which is index 6 is Sunday, and that's it. So that's basically how you can play around with these items to extract the values on the scales. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn even more, check out this specific video about how to customize the tick values in the scales so you can play around with it as well so you can control it even further.